Hello friends! Welcome to my studio in Montreal and welcome to my demo. Uh, today we will make the portrait and I will try to make it dynamic. I mean this photo I took uh, just a few days ago in the old port in Montreal. Uh, I don't know who's that on the photo, who's the person, who just a uh, man from the street. And uh, I changed the composition a little bit, so uh, I make it uh, like a bigger and you know, I like the mask on the hand here, so I move it a little bit up. You'll see everything on my board. During all the demo, um, I have a technical support group, so uh, I see your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, uh, because I hear your uh, uh, comments and I can answer your questions. So that's why I'm here, all my experience at your service. And I'll try to be fast, because uh, it's dynamic portrait, so it should be fast job, and we start. As I say, uh, that's the original photo, it's look like that. So I make it like a little bit bigger, move the subject to the right side, move the mask and change the details a little bit. So we're gonna make it in the few steps uh, about the paper uh, this is the Sanders water Ford 300 grams the back side already wet that's why I prepared my sketch in advance because uh, I have to prepare my paper as well so the back side is wet the front side is dry and let's go any questions feel free to ask me Hello Geneva, welcome to join. Hello India, Australia, Germany, welcome to join me today. And uh, because uh, remember, we're talking about the dynamic portrait, so it has to be something alive. And uh, that's why I add the, some watercolor effect here. I like how it looks like. and we make it look like a spontaneous sketch. Hello, Romania. As you know, I do not use the white, so if I need the white part, I just leave it highlights like that. So only paper, no white paint. Okay, uh, the question about the uh, my masking tape. Here is it. Uh, it's uh, it's my tape. Uh, you can find it on my website watercolonline.com. First of all, I like the black color. Second one, we create this special glue, strong enough to keep the wet paper so it's this this tape made special for watercolor that's why it's kind of different stuff The, uh, the size of the paper, this is the half of the imperial size, that means 22 by 15 inches. And there is no masking fluid, so if I need something white, I have to paint it around like I did there.
Hello, London. Hello, Italy. Welcome to join me today. Hello, friends. Switzerland. We have a lot of countries and people. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Oh, Pierre Font. It's like a, a half an uh, half an hour uh, by car from my studio. <laughs> you know the internet. It's interesting stuff. No distance, so no difference. You are from India or you live in Pierre Fonts, we can be together. That's really, really cool. Hello, Argentina. So uh, what I'm doing now, I'm still working on the light part only. I didn't, didn't put the shadow and not planning to do this. So I'm trying to adjust my light part using the sometimes wash out uh, sometimes we add the pigments so uh, in my mind i'm painting the light now later then the light part will be done we switch to the to the shadow part so it's still dynamic portrait but we're slowly moving from lights to shadow Okay, uh, the colors uh, for uh, all that uh, oranges yellow mix, I use uh, three colors. This is the Queen Sienna on my palette, uh, Queen Acridon Deep Gold and Alizarin Crimson. So that three guys is right here. For the hair, it's a little bit cobalt, uh, moonglow and indigo. Здравствуйте! Hello, Germany! Uh, you know, except there are uh, some uh, power strikes, like spots like that, I call that style dynamic because, uh, you know, I have some plan in my mind, but uh, mostly i'm following the what happens on my on my paper so it's like uh, we working together water and me sometimes something happens uh not expect expect expectable and we have something new what i didn't plan to have and if that happens i always decide do i want to keep it or uh, we're gonna change it and it's always interesting game And plus, I'm trying to keep the diagonal direction. That's why I put the uh, my subject a little bit to the right. S and I'm trying to keep that direction. And that helped me to show the some kind of movement. I'm just trying to make it delicate. Okay, uh, about the colors, uh, you know my set. If not, you can find all the set what I'm using uh, on my website. Uh, this is a, a Daniel Smith set. Um, the total is uh, 18 colors. Here is it, that's the dot card. And, uh, you know, always I mostly spontaneous take something from the palette. If I'm starting to uh, use the name always, then I pick up something. Uh, um, I will talk just about the colors all, all the time, uh, but what I can tell you uh, here, I'm, I'm never use more than five uh, colors in one painting. So three of them you already know. Uh, I maybe add a little bit um, 
neutral tint, but it looks like that's it, or Pyrene Violet. But that's it, I mean, Queen Deep Gold, Queen Sienna, Alizarin Crimson, Moon Glow, Pyrene Violet, and Indigo. So that's the all the colors what I'm using today. But it's always mixed between that, guys. So no one and just clear color. Never use it just, just one. So it's always some mix. Okay, uh, about my palette, uh, that's the uh, simple. I have a few uh, palettes like that, so I fill one and put it on my uh, shelf to dry, and it's gonna dry uh, like uh, maybe one week, and I'm use other palette in that time. Then it's ready, and this is going to be empty. I starting to fill this and switch to the new one. About the colors, here I'm starting to use the green because we're talking about the mask and I want to paint the mask, so I put some greenish pigments here, but only for, for the mask. Uh, <laughs> that there is no secret, uh, you know, the, uh, the best secret what I can share with you, you have to enjoy the process. It should be fun. If it's fun uh, for you, if you enjoy what you're doing and like what you're doing, even if the results sometimes look like a garbage, you know that happens with me times to times. Doesn't matter. The people who are watching your painting can be enjoyed too, because the same feeling inside. So that's the best solution. You have to take a fun of that. I can put the uh, original photo here on the screen, so in that case you can see how it's look like, like this. Hello, Cecilia. So the the first layer we can say almost done. So I can say what I'm finished preparing my background, and it's just the background, nothing more. I just remove the few pigments here to create the highlights more visible. Yeah, that's right about mask. You see, it's it's uh, here, uh, so it's more comfortable for sure. So I put it just a little bit up. Yeah, I like that detail. It's unfortunately it's part of uh, our life now. A 
few more touching and we're gonna make it dry uh, yeah this is the rough paper yeah question about the paper this is the Sanders rough paper okay so now I make it dry sorry I turn off sound because it's very noisy. Uh, yeah, question, question about the, the brushes. That, that's my main tool. Uh, this brush you can find uh, on my website. This is a solo flat, my main tools. Uh, I'm, I'm working with a five and three lines. I can say that's the best flat brushes. So, light is done. Now I'm going to create the shadow part slowly again. And I don't have to repaint everything. Uh, for instance, I don't want to touch like a light part at all. We're just trying to create this, some shadow here and combine the shadow with the parts that was done before. Uh, thank you for your likes. I appreciate it. We have a 30. Thank you very much. So now I'm starting to use the appearing violet before uh, I didn't touch it. So my darkness mix for the shadow uh, mixing with the appearing violet. It's right here on my palette. Here is it. And as I say, we're slowly going down. The Pyrene Violet, by the way, it's a great color for uh, for the shadows on the skin. Plus Moon Glow, a little bit Queen Sienna. It's perfect mix for that. Special for the sunny day like, like this on that photo. And for instance, this concentrated mix between Pure and Violet and Indigo, a little bit Queen Sienna, that's my three favorite colors. And we can create a very dark color for, for this. And because it's uh, not just a simple 
dark. It's complicated. It's great if we starting to blend it with the other pigments. It's always look interesting. We have a 100 people. Thank you very much to join me today. You know, it's a real pleasure to start a week uh, on Monday like that from the demo. Believe me, I am always uh, take a lot of power from that. And that's really cool and great chance to, uh, to talk. Good morning, Cindy. About the, thank you for question about the uh, lessons in England. Uh, you know, in this time, I have no idea what will be. We have a lot of restrictions, you know that, and it's pretty hard to organize uh, any kind of travels. So if it will be a chance for me to be there, for sure I will be. But I couldn't promise you. <laughs> for now, everything is not exactly uh, understandable. What will be, how it will be. When? Have no idea. In the two days I'm going to a uh, trip to Greece, uh, uh, Russia for the festivals and to the France and I'm still not sure what that will be possible even if I have a tickets. So it's still a lot of problems. But if it will be a chance, as I say, I will be happy. I'm trying, you see, I'm slowly moving from top to bottom because I'm trying to connect my shadow and make it look like one big spot, everything together. And that's why I, I prepared my paper before and make it wet on the back because that gives me a time to play with my pigments. And plus, uh, I don't want to keep the strong contrast here, it's the shadow part. That's why I blend it with my background a little bit. Like a little bit I'm focusing.
and I'm starting to use uh, more indigo to make it look colder. Hello Argentina, thank you very much for your kind words, thank you. So for now I switch to a little bit bigger brush. slowly moving up uh, if you follow me uh, you have to know we will put another one layer on top on this and uh, by this layer we create some exactly the darker points like here for instance that's why I'm not touching that right now and uh, the jacket so I don't want to paint it precise and I'm still trying to keep the diagonal direction. That's why I'm going to do that like this. It's like another one trick to show the dynamic movement. And I need a strong negative space around my mask. I like, I like how it looks like, so I do my best to show that. Everything what I'm doing now is standing on the combination between the dry brush, soft blending and spontaneous strikes like that. So this part going to dry, that's why if I want to fix something here, I have to back to this part right now. In the few minutes it will be too late. and wash out to bring some lights back. I leave it to dry, we're back to this a little bit later. So for now I just make some touching here.
<laughs> Ecuador, thank you very much for your kind words. Yeah, you know, uh, it's exactly the same materials what I'm using, so I'm really happy to know what you like my brushes. It's really good stuff. Shalom Israel! So finally we almost connect all the shadows together I'm just finished preparing my some shadows here and back to that part. Buenos dias, Mexico! Hello Brazil! Uh, <laughs> thank you for a question about speed. Yes, uh, I'm. you know, you, you have to know, I'm always painting for myself. It doesn't matter uh, uh, do I make a demo or I'm just painting uh, in my studio alone? I'm always painting for me and for people who look at my painting after that. And the speed, yes, it's almost the same. Um, you know, honestly, it's pretty hard for me to make that uh, really long project because in the, then I'm starting to paint. In 10 minutes, uh, I'm still almost the same person. In two hours, I'm a different guy. I have a different feeling. And uh, I want to change everything what I did before and start from from zero. So it's a, for me, it's a really, really hard to make like a very long project with watercolor. There is no problem to do that with the oil or other mediums. But for my opinion, the watercolor needs uh, to be fast like that. That's what I like it. Ирина, большое спасибо за комментарий. Я очень рад, что вам нравится курс. Спасибо. Okay. Uh, about the colors. Uh, uh, Moon Glow, Purine Violet, Alizarin Crimson, Queen Acridon Sienna, Queen Acridon Deep Gold. 
Uh, this uh, it's two guys, both of them indigo, and this is the cobalt. Indigo, uh, just two guys because I'm almost eat indigo. It's color what I'm use a lot, and it's always gone from my palette. That's why for me it's more easy to to keep both pens like that. Hello, Peru. Hello, Uruguay. See, that's area uh, almost dry, so I can put the another one layer right now without air dryer, which is great. We finish the negative space around the mask to make the mask more visible. And I use again the green color for this and uh, to create the lines there. And we continue to show the direction. I'm going to make soft connection here to my background to make it look like a one subject. And unfortunately, yeah, for now the mask is part of our subjects, of all of us. So we combine everything together. Contrast is important for watercolor because you know we already have a white paper everywhere and if I want to explain the lights all what I need just add the shadows.
Okay. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it's interesting question about the lead uh, in the Daniel Smith paint. I never hear about that. Never ever. Uh, but to be honest, I have to check. I never think about this, but I never hear about that. So to be sure, uh, I have to check that. And um, I, I have no, uh, uh, what's the reason can be to put the lead for now in the paint. But again, to, to be honest, I have to check that information. We're going to finish it the big part on the face. Talking about the uh, Daniel Smith paint, you know that mostly the Daniel Smith paint. That's why I like it. Um, except that you know they was the first company who started to use the quinacridone uh, pigments in the watercolor. It never was made before, and that's why uh, I just stuck on that because my favorite colors is exactly quinacridone sienna. Amazing, colorful pigment. But except this, uh, the Daniel Smith uh, always uh, create the new pigments from the stones they dig in. They uh, discover the new pigments always. So it's really, really interesting. And mostly uh, the Daniel Smith uh, use the natural pigments. I never hear about the, any kind of toxic stuff inside. Never ever. Mm. Yeah, you know, I like watercolor as well. Absolutely. That's my favorite medium. I like to use the oil, but the, the watercolor is something specific. It's because it's a huge adrenaline inside. We're always doing a lot of things uh, unpredictable. And, you know, as I say, I have a plan in my mind, but what we have in the end always is a huge surprise for me as well. Because it's not just me who doing this job. Uh, times to times, uh, you know, the neutral tint uh, less transparent compared to indigo. Um, and if I need to create something really, really dark points, uh, I can use the, um, the natural tint for mixing. I prefer to use Indigo for me. It's more easy to control. More transparent. Yeah. Uh, to remove the water from a uh, brush, I use the paper tower and I use that a lot. So um, just you see, I'm preparing the sheets like this in the beginning. And after I take uh, and create my mix, I take off the extra paint like that always.
Okay, uh, the great question, how to understand at what point I have to stop. You know, uh, when I'm painting, um, times to times, I make it two steps back to see how it's look like total. If it's look understandable and then explain everything what I want to say, I stop. Less details, it's always better because it's give a chance to use imagination for the people who look at your painting. So uh, the right moment to stop is important for sure. So that's why the best thing is just make a few steps back, check how it's look like. If something not exactly understandable, do something with that. If it's look okay, just stop. Be lazy. We have uh, 75 likes, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> good question about uh, what happens on the next day. You know, always that happens with me. Because on the next day I see a lot of things what I miss uh, than I created. But what is done is done. Uh, let's say I have a more experience for the next time to, to be better. But what is done, as I say, it's done. I never back to that. But yeah, you're right, it happens. I see something missing and say okay but that's it Again, I use a dry brush to add some accents. Okay, the uh, the question about the the watercolor yes it's definitely going to be uh, much lighter than it's dry but first of all it depends uh, how wet your paper in my case because it was the water on the back a lot of pigments going deep inside the paper i know that and i know what in the end it will be much lighter so that's why i make everything what i'm doing a little bit darker than i'm planning to have it in the end if i'm painting on the dry paper that's difference not that visible. So you know your condition and you can predict it. Not like a hundred percent, but that's great. But anyway, if you keep the right balance between the lights and shadow, even if finally um, it's dry and it's going to be lighter than you want, but everything going to be lighter. lighter. Your shadow your light, everything uh, going to lighter on the same level almost. So finally, it will be look in the balance and that's uh, more, more important, I think. So we almost done, it's just a few more touching. 
and we stop. But I'm still here. I mean, if you have a questions, I'm still at your service. For example, the same things happens here. Then it's dry. This spot look like much lighter. So I want to make it darker. That's why I put the pigments right now. But my paper is still wet. That means half of them going inside and I'm okay with that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, in one month, uh, maybe a little bit uh, more, we planning to uh, create a big surprise for you about the YouTube channel. Just keep in touch and I believe it will be interesting news. Okay, we're done. Uh, we just have to put the last thing as usual. So thank you very much what you was with me today. Thank you for your time. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments after the video. It still will be available on the YouTube. I mean, if you can watch it later, uh, you can leave the comments. Uh, I will promise I will answer you. So as I say, all my experience at your service. Stay healthy. Uh, thank you very much for Monday. And I hope see you next, 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 next Monday. Stay healthy. Bye bye.